interesting thing is I'm not sure this is going to work. We'll try it and we'll see if it does. I'll multiply that by 100. I have two question marks in here, and they're both coming from the query string ID. There was an error, extra. where the extra is. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's another one, too, before you go. Right. It says from votes instead of vote. The second line down. Okay. Sure enough, it shows me 2 to 1 and 40%, 40%, 20%. Now, the way that I did this again is part of this query is another query. In other words, this gave me the number of votes per, an, uh, per answer. I then wanted the total number of votes for that poll. Where do I get that from? Well, I can do a query to do that. So I just say this to, 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 to reinforce the idea of sort of the, the great way that SQL takes a handful of basic building blocks and allows you to combine them like all different kinds of ways. So if you're, if you're shaky on this part of it, then don't worry about this part of it. Um, if, I would hope that you would have got at least up to this count part. But if the percentage part is still fuzzy, I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. But um, I can understand why that would be fuzzy. The point of that, though, is, again, you can actually write a, a part of one query can actually be another query to pull a piece of data. And let's go in and wrap this up. I will refresh. I will go in and edit the columns and the answer. Number of votes. Percentage. If I wanted to do what? If you wanted to be all fancy dancy and put the percentage after the. Um, like if you wanted to format the. You want a percent symbol. Yeah, the percent oh, you want a percent symbol? symbol? Yeah, what you could do is you could go here and say edit column percent. And you could do something for the data format string. Oh, gotcha. Okay. That I don't know how you would do that for percentages. Let's try this. See if that does anything for us. No. Nope. I gotta say I'm a little weak on these data format strings. The idea though is if you think about it, you're not changing the data. So it wouldn't be in the query itself. You're simply just changing.
changing the way it's being displayed, so it would be something that you do with the grid view. Let's make sure we're back to normal on this. I actually could go in, if I wanted to, and create a template column, but I'm not ready to talk about template columns yet. Okay, any questions?